I'm saying there's a belief, yes. So I want to help you because some of you are believing some lies and I want to help you. Are you hearing me? How many of you are civil servants here? If you are civil servant, raise up your hand. Let me see. All those who are civil servants. Civil servants. Okay. Okay. So we have only few civil servants here. Okay. Thank you. Good. Yes. How many of you are working for somebody and you are being paid? You are not, uh, you are not your own boss. You work for somebody and you are being paid. Raise up your hand. Let me see. So the rest, what do you do? How many of you don't work? If you don't work, raise up your hand. Let me see. If you don't work. How many of you don't work? If you don't work, raise up your hand. I want to see. Yes. I want to see. Okay. How many of you are students? So what is it? How many of you do your own business? Okay. Oh, okay. How many? Okay, you do your own business. Thank you. Listen. Listen to me. Listen. Every one of us, I want you to get this before we go. Everyone who is a civil servant working in the government setup, are you hearing me? Or you are a medical doctor, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. You may be a lecturer. Everyone that is working, if you are honest and sincere, I'm talking about those who are honest and sincere. If you are honest and sincere, what you will eat, where you will sleep, what you will drive, the money to take care of your children will not be a problem. Because the Bible says you will not beg and eat. But to get money, to be able to be dashing, dashing people, it is not so. So if people who don't know they see another person who is the same lecturer like you. You are all receiving the same pay. And he's dashing money, dashing money, dashing money. He parks his car. He doesn't put off his engine. The air condition is on. Ah, and everything. And other people say, ah, this lecturer is wicked. Then that lecturer who is dashing money is getting money from some place which we don't know about. Are you hearing what I'm saying? What I'm trying to say is this. You see, these days a lot of you, they are giving you a wrong impression about church because you will see a prophet come and dash 10 cars. All those are occultic money. I'm telling you, occultic because I am telling you the gospel truth. Our church, we have the biggest church in Kumasi. And yet, our, listen to me, our six-month income can buy 10 cars and dash people. I'm telling you the truth. So, it, so it's an occultic money. So, do all the money that there is, this occultic money, occultic money. On our TV, the fetish priest come bring your thousand and i'll give you more than thousand is it not on our tv so people don't know hey if these people have this and they're hey then she see see and for pastor runs for what she shot that so every civil servant will tell you the little he will eat and the little he will help one or another he will get but he won't get that type of money to do it's the same thing with every politician who is a true politician even our president cannot dash 10 cars we will send him to special prosecutor if he dash, dashes 10 cars and say this is from my pocket we will ask him where he got that money otherwise he will be a thief because his salary is not up to that so, you see, when we come to a church, like, the reason is that some of you don't give is, oh, CCC, I've got money. CCC, I've got money. That is it. That's why I want to take away that thing from you. I'm like any civil servant person who is working. They pay me. I pay. I sign pay. So, that's why there are some things I can do.
Are you hearing what I'm saying? Let me tell you so that you will know. I had a Mitsubishi car. I've taken it to Accra because I go to Accra and I need car. My wife also uh, go for medical attention at Accra. So we need somebody to drive him and everything. So I've taken it to Accra. The Nissan four-wheel drive that you bought for me, I want it to keep long, so I use it for traveling. So I don't use it for town riding. So at the moment, I don't have car. I take Uber. I take Uber. This is Pastor Ransford. I don't have money to buy a car. I won't force myself. Are you hearing me? Because the church money is not my money. You didn't come to give in my name. You came to give in the name of the Lord Jesus. To build the kingdom of God. And because I want to go to heaven. I live by my pay. So people who don't know. You see. So when I see people doing that. It's occultic money. If not they are thieves. If not, they are putting their hand in the church offering and putting it in their basket or all the offering, they put it in their car boot. It is not so in CCC here. So we are different. Tell somebody, this is a Polish church, a world church. Tell the person, it's a Polish church. Tell him, tell him. Tell the person, it's a Polish. Tell the person, it's a Polish church with a Polish pastor. Who went to Bible school? I went to a seminary. I have diploma in theology. Are you hearing me? So when you come and you are giving, give. And I want to tell you, these 40 days of prayer, I've been praying. Lord, bless all those who pay their tithes. So if you want to be among those that I'm praying God to bless them, then give your tithe and, and pay. Because I pray according to scripture. Lord, supply those who have been given, who have been paying their tithes. Lord, bless them. Lord, bless them. Make them financial pillars. Give those you know their heart. When you bless them, they will support the church. Make them millionaires. But those who will close their hands, let the money exchange hands. Let it exchange hands. And let it give it to those who will support your kingdom. Hello? Me, this is me. Me, I will tell you the prayers I pray. It's simple. I pray because I don't want people that God will bless and then they will go and marry another one. Or God will bless and they are in the church and they see nice girls. Then they begin to uh, scratch their palm. How should I pray for you to get the money go perish with you so that because if you don't have money, you don't like women. There are certain type of men and women, if you don't have money, you can't go to them. No be so. Ah, there are some ladies, girls, when you see them, you realize that if you don't have money, you don't go there. How many of you love Pastor Ransford? Tell somebody, I like Pastor, he tells the truth. Tell, he tells it as it is. So, get your offering and tithe ready everybody get your offering and tithe ready if you have not filled your attendance card this yellow card please fill it quickly fill it quickly we are going to take our offering and tithes everybody get ready we are going to take our offering and tithes and everything get ready give bountifully give bountifully amen so from today don't think ccc has money and everything hey sure let me cut your back Uh, sometimes if you want cheap food polish one go to Kumasi Mall they make the food is cheap watch it watch it is one of the cheapest food you can get I like watch it is most healthy and cheapest beans amen So, everybody, have you gotten, take, stand on your feet.
Stand off your feet with your offering and your tithes and everything. And everybody say this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I want to thank you for the opportunity to give. I ask your blessing over what I'm giving in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Sing, dance, and bring your offering to the Lord. And I will rejoice. I'm going to lift my voice and worship you. Glorify your name among the nations. Oh, I will rejoice. In everything I will give thanks to you. For you have been my help and my son. I will rejoice. Thank you very much. Listen to me. We are going to the next section. Listen, everybody, listen to me quickly. You know, we are a charismatic church. We believe in speaking in tongues. In Mark chapter 16, Jesus said, This sign shall follow them that believe. In my name, they will speak in new tongues. So, we believe that the Holy Ghost baptism is for everybody and anybody that is born again God wants to give you the gift of the Holy Spirit which I call the prayer language which will help you to pray more because these 40 days of prayer if you don't if you don't have the baptism of the Holy Spirit the prayer language you can still pray but if you get it it has come to help you. In fact, we read Romans chapter 8. Can you put that from the New Living Translation? What we read this morning. Romans 8, um, 20, 26 and 27. Romans 8, 26 and 27 from the New Living Translation. Quickly, quickly, quickly. He says, And the Holy Spirit 
helps us in our weakness. For example, we don't know what God wants us to pray for. This is what the Bible is saying. It means, including me, we all don't know. But the Holy Spirit prays for us with groanings that cannot be expressed in words. And the Father who knows all hearts knows what the Spirit is saying. For the Spirit pleads for us believers in harmony with God's own word, will. So every one of us need the baptism of the Holy Spirit speaking in tongues. We are a church. We believe in that. In fact, those of you who have been visiting us, when you come, you hear us, especially the prayer meetings, you hear us speak in tongues. It is not something we learned. It is the gift of the Holy Spirit. And so, if you are here, listen, and you have not been baptized in the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues, take your Bible. If you are a lady, take your back and get up from your seat and walk to the big shed now. And walk to the big shed. People will be there. People will help you. Anyone here who has not been baptized in the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues, take your bag or your Bible, wherever you are, walk, get up and walk to the chair. We are going to pray for you. There are people, Pastor Douglas, all the people are there, Pastor Teresa and Cole, they will all be there to pray for you. They are going to pray for you to be filled with the Holy Spirit. So every one of you and those of you who need to help them please go and help them please every one of you if you have not been baptized in the holy spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues please get up take your bible take everything and go right now it's a gift it's a gift it's a gift everyone need to have one it's a gift it's a gift god gives us god bless you god bless you god bless you let's clap for them as they go pastors pastors go there and help them yes let us go and help them pastors with the exception of uh, 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 Isaac who is going to help me here so let's give them a hand let them give them a hand, a hand anybody if you are sitting up wherever you are you have not been baptized in the Holy Spirit the intercessory ministry group you know you are there all those who help them every one of you go 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 they will help you they are going to pray for you that you will be filled with the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues it's very, very important because the rest of us, we are going to pray. We are going to pray. And when we start praying, and I say, let everybody pray in the spirit. I'll be coming around. I don't want you, to, I don't want to, I don't want to hear you say, I want to hear everybody speaking in tongues. Amen. So this is the opportunity. Some of you, you can't come for evening service. This is the opportunity. That's why we are doing Holy Ghost baptism this Sunday. And next Sunday, we'll do another one also. In, uh, so if you know anybody who have not been baptized in the Holy Spirit and want to be baptized, bring him to church next Sunday. We're going to do that also. Amen. Amen. Are you hearing me? It's very important. Give me Acts chapter 12. And we're going to use that. We're going to pray. Acts chapter 12. Acts chapter 12. It says, Now about that time, Herod the king stretched out his hand to harass some from the church. Then killed James, the brother of John, with a sword. And because he saw that it pleased the Jews, we'll talk about it, it pleased them. And we're going to, we're going to, it pleased them. He proceeded further to seize what? Peter also. Because he saw that, you see, you know, we are people who are, inter they are happy when they see Christians are being persecuted. Do, do you know that? Uh, you think everybody in Ghana, like Christians. Yeah. There are some people, they don't like us. That's why we're going to pray. Because in this story, 
the people that listen the guard that they were guarding Peter and they say you make sure and they were the people who are going to take Peter so that they can go and kill him they end up they being killed because God rescued Peter and that is the same thing we will pray today anybody Akeda system that he has also planned to come and shoot us when you came around, you saw we, we have police people around. Yes, we'll do every security. But at the end of the day, it is God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's God. So we will, we will do both security and prayer. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So now they see Peter also. Now it was during the days of unleavened bread. So when he had arrested him, he put him in prison. The reason why he didn't go ahead and kill him is this. Listen. It was on living bread. He was a politician. He wanted because the Jewish people are going to do something. So he doesn't want to do anything to disturb them. So that so you want to please them. So after he made you do your uh, uh, festival nice, then he will also take Peter and kill. That's how politicians are. They are, they are the same everywhere. Never think that any politician, I've never seen as I'm concerned, I don't know any politician who is truly, truly born again. But anybody when he's running election, he's born again by force. Because they know that we Christians are gullible. Because the moment they mention God's name, hey, the battle is the Lord, yes. <laughs> are you hearing what I'm saying? Muhammad says he's born again. And now he's running for prayer. You see a lot of things you'll be talking about. Cliche, he will learn the freeze. Don't be deceived by any politicians. Don't be deceived. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If Pastor Ransford say I'm born again, believe me, I'm properly born again. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That's why don't put your trust in any politician. You know where they go. After they come for church for prayer, they go to also the shrine. Which is which? Are you, are you hearing what I'm saying? So there's a policy. So, so when he had arrested him, he put him in prison and delivered him for four squad of soldiers to keep him. Intending to bring him before the people after Passover. Peter was therefore kept in prison. Everybody say, but. But what? Yes, but constant prayer. Other translation says that, endless prayer. But constant prayer was offered to God for him by who? When we talk about the church, the church is not Pastor Ransford. It's all of us coming together. The church is not the building. It is we coming together. He didn't say and passer or and 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 and, and uh, this somebody prayed. He said the church and the church prayed. Everybody say and the church prayed. Say and the church prayed. So the church, every one of you, what I want you to understand that it doesn't matter how little prayer you you can pray, your prayer is needed, including those of us who are prayer warriors and those of us who don't pray all of us we need our prayers and the church what prayed and that's what we are going to do today we want to pray it was the prayer of the church that caused god to intervene because what happened to peter no man can do it because he was locked there was nothing that will happen are you hearing what i'm saying and and there are a lot of lessons we can learn from here so we're going to pray. And the church pray. Everybody say, and the church prayed. And tell somebody, the church is all of us together. You know, sometimes when we are talking about the church, some of us don't know. Oh, hello, oh why the church doesn't do this? Ask any, any time you hear anybody say, why the church? Ask him, who is the church you are talking about? Is it Pastor Ransford? Or is it this building? The building is not the church. That's why you can meet in a, in a cinema. And so you say you are having church, isn't it? That's why you can meet under a tree. 
The church is the people of God. So whenever you are talking about the church, you are talking about we. We are the church. It is not Pastor Ransford. Amen? Amen? So the church, we have gathered. We are the church this morning. And we're going to pray. Stand on your feet. So I'll be bringing the topics one by one. Everybody, and then we're going to pray. The church prayed. Say the church prayed. The church prayed. Yadawasia, eh, Fata, oh, ye, ye, waya, oh, well, ye, feel, ye, wama, ye. something you like about this church tend to somebody everybody tell him open your mouth tell him this is what yes everybody tell somebody what you like about this church tell somebody what you like about this church uh, uh, have you, no 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 tell the person tell the person the second thing is this listen the second thing is this. Tell him what you like about Pastor Ransford. Tell, tell him, tell him, tell the person what you like about Pastor Ransford. Tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him. Tell him, tell him what you like about Pastor Ransford. He's short and cute. Listen. Our first prayer we're going to pray is that we're going to thank God for CCC. Are you hearing me? Because it's not every church that is like CCC. And sometimes we don't have to take things for granted. Because if maybe you were, some of you, especially the men, if you were in other church, you would have married the second one. If you have not married the second one, you would have gotten a concubine somewhere. Because your zip would have been closed. But thank God, praise the Lord, thank you for Pastor Ransford. He has taught me how to close my zip. If you have not done that, I'm going to teach you this. Yes. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So let us thank God for CCC. Let us thank God. All the good things that we have been enjoying. Let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray. And thank God for CCC. Say, so Lord, I want to thank you for such a church. I bless your name. Father, we are so grateful to you, O oh God. We thank you this morning for giving us such a wonderful church. Father, we thank you for everyone in this, everyone that is a part of this church. Lord, a place where we can come and worship you and honor you and adore you. We are so grateful to you, O oh God, for the fellowship in this place. Lord, I want to thank you for the great gift that you've given us, Lord. I bless your name. Begin to thank God. Begin to thank God. Any good thing that you've been enjoying, begin to thank God for it. Father, thank you for all the ESCD teachers. Thank you, O oh God, for the children teachers. Yes, thank God for the children teachers. While you are worshiping, they are taking care of your children so that you can have the peace. Children will not be rounding around. They are doing a good job. Let's thank God for them. Thank you, O oh God, for all the children teachers. 
teachers, oh God. Their time that they have devoted to teach our children, to help them, oh God, that they will come to know the truth. We are so grateful to you. We bless you for each one of them, their life. Begin to thank God for the instrumentalists. Begin to thank God for charisma. If we didn't have charisma, if we don't have a wonderful worship like this, what would it be? Begin to thank God for each one of them. Father, we thank you, oh God, for our instrumentalists. We thank you, oh God, for those who stand and lead us in worship every day. And we've been enjoying your presence. We are so grateful to you, oh God, for each one of them, their commitment. We thank you for everyone that does something here. We thank you for the ushers. We thank you, oh God, for every one of them in the name of Jesus who have been doing things and making sure that our worship will be so wonderful. Father, there are a lot of things who are, many people are doing things behind the scene that even we are not aware, but we are here to thank you for their life. We are here to praise you. We are here to worship you and to thank you for this wonderful church you have given to us. May your name be praised. May your name be glorified. May your name be exalted in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray in the spirit. Begin to pray in the spirit for a few moments. Begin to pray in the spirit. Everybody pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Don't pray in your mother tongue. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Rabaka soto la bakata la bakata. Shebebe rebeke chete lebeke chete. Yambo koraba kashanta la bakata. Yes, 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 yes. Rabaka soto la bakata. Shande rebeke chete leboko choto. Yambo koraba kashante. Yanda la bakata la bakata. Shabaka soto la bakata. Yande rebeke chete. Yabaka rabaka Yes, 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 yes.